What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Looking at My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Taurus. Please understand this will not apply to every single Taurus. As every single Taurus is not going through the same scenario across watchers. Anybody outside the Taurus energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you. So I will be talking to you guys with a couple of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Taurus, I'm talking to you. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, okay? And if this is so, drop it to my cash app and let me know. What's up, Taurus? Happy birthday to all of the Taurus. My daughter's birthday is coming up on the 29th, 429. Um, happy birthday to her. My mom and my stepdad are in May. Happy birthday to them. My best friend's son, my godson. Happy birthday to him. My stepdad's uh, brother, my uncle Al. Happy birthday to him. My old co-worker, Toya, happy birthday to her. She's also a Taurus. Like, I love the Taurus energy. Y'all crazy as hell, but I love the energy. I'm around a lot of Taurus. I am Taurus rising. My sister is also a Taurus rising. Like, I'm around a lot of Taurus energy. Occupation. Okay, something to do with work. Taurus people tend to work jobs to, to excel and do well in jobs they really don't want to do. They're just really good at it. So I feel like they feel passionate about it because they're good at it, but they really don't like it. I find that a lot. Ooh, sudden wealth. Who else got this? Um, Aquarius. I am an Aquarius. We got this in our reading, Sudden Wealth. Um, and it was the second card that came out at the bottom as well. So I feel, I feel like maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or another air sign possibly. But I feel like you all, and it's crazy that this is coming out because I didn't get this Sudden Wealth card for anybody else, I think. Maybe Dick, maybe Capricorn got it. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn too. I got this sudden wealth card with Aquarius. I don't think Capricorn, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just saying you might be involved with a Capricorn, but um, or an Aquarius, but you all might be experiencing like some sudden wealth. Um, possibly from a job, you might get a bonus or maybe um, maybe you're a, like a sign-on bonus or maybe your job is giving you a, a monthly bonus or you're just going to receive some, some sudden wealth. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego. I feel like <clears throat> you're using work as a means of getting away from a relationship. It's like when you don't want to be involved with your romantic partner, you tend to run to places like work. And let your, it's like it's better to be at work than it is to be in a house with somebody I don't want to be with. So this is a lot of the times why you all are very stable, why you all make a lot of money. And it's like you all force yourself to work, especially when you're trying to get away from your significant other. I do notice that about Taurus. Yeah, love. Unconditional love, self-love, one is passion. I feel like um, your, your sudden wealth is going to come from something that you do passionately or something that you did passionately. I feel like this is one of, one of those situations where your work is paying off. Like your hard work is paying off. Confirmation. Aquarius got this too. Aquarius got this too. I promise you dealing with an Aquarius. Did Aquarius get that? 
or was it Pisces? It was one of the two, but I don't know. I'm getting strong Aquarius vibes. Aquarius, Pisces, and Capricorn. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, unorganized. I feel like you're slightly unorganized. You might be juggling a bunch of things right now. You have a lot going on. Ooh, look at that. Lovers in reverse. I feel like you're unorganized because I feel like you're running away from your significant other. You might be attached to someone and you're trying to, uh, yeah, you're attached to someone and I feel like you, when you don't want to be around them, you go to work. Uh, yeah, I feel like maybe you're you're not really wanting to be sexual with this person. We got the king of wands here. I feel like maybe you or this person is just like kind of bossy and like pushy or um, maybe this person is just like authoritatively annoying. Um, like somebody is just like, maybe you're not really... Maybe they're demanding sex from you and you don't want it. You're, I, I just feel like you're, oh shit. Yeah, look at that, a loss. Uh, uh, I feel like you're gonna take a loss. Just because they both fell out. Yeah, it's gonna throw you off balance. Oh, and it's an unfortunate situation. Something told me to take it and I knew. I feel like something is about to throw you off or you're unorganized right now. You're trying to detach from somebody with a bad attitude or somebody who's just like bossy or pushy. And I feel like either them or you are going to lose something of major value. It's going to just throw you completely off. And I feel like it's just going to bring some misfortune when it comes to work. Maybe you're not going to be able to go to work. And so this might depress you or this might put you in a negative space, bottom of the deck. Yeah, death. I feel like something hasn't happened yet and you're juggling. Something hasn't ended. Something is still going. I feel like if there is somebody, because I got this with Aquarius, if there is somebody that is about to pass away, yeah, because I said in the Aquarius reading, it was an Aquarius that was going to be passing away. And I feel like um, this is the, the queen of swords in reverse, detaching from somebody who's just like a B-I-T-C-H, somebody who has a really bad attitude, someone who, um, you know, you might have somebody who's about to pass away or somebody around you and romantically. I feel like you're trying to organize a death or an ending of something. While you're dealing with that, <clears throat> you're also dealing with someone who is like angry or frustrated, who isn't, who's channeling maybe a very emotional they're dominant, but they're being emotional right now. Somebody is being like very, very emotional and in their feelings. And I feel like they're trying to get out of this energy, but they can't get out of this energy. Somebody is trying to get out of this negative energy and they're just, they, they maybe they haven't done it yet, but they're trying to go from being negative and nasty trying to get out of whatever feeling that is because I don't think this person likes it yeah this pentacles you might be dealing with another earth sign Capricorn uh Virgo uh Taurus Virgo Taurus Capricorn and I feel like you're gonna lose a big part of this um, you're going to lose a, a big part of this person. Um, 
you're going to lose something of major value with this person. I feel like this person is going to lose something. So in turn, you lose it too. Um, whatever. I feel like this, this is like a double, I feel like a double loss. I don't know why I'm getting like a double loss. You all are losing the same thing. Just you all are losing the same thing just differently. You and this person are going through the same thing just differently. I feel like you're juggling someone else and that might bring you some misfortune. We got the two, look at that, the two of pinnacles, one on each side, starts from start to end. Oh my gosh. All these major arcanas, the devil, temperance, will of fortune, death, And I just noticed every single one of these cards is in reverse except the last one, which is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles up here is in reverse. Every other card is in reverse. Hmm. Every card is in reverse. I feel like you and your person are going to be losing the same thing, just a little differently. Like... Let's say you both lose a dog, except her, her, it might be a girl dog and then it might be a boy dog that the other person loses. If you don't, you better. Mm -mm -mm. 